Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA and CSENT video practice question and a lab for you on frame relay and keep alives. We've got a lot going on today and what I'm going to do is present you with one question. We're going to get to that in about 15 seconds here and we're also going to use the live equipment to verify the answers because as we all know we're going to get those dreaded select all that apply uh, questions during your exam and that's what I've got here for you today. So let's go ahead and hit this particular question. A lot going on here today. Your frame relay LMI starts working incorrectly. Which of the following will result or is a true statement? A. The physical interface will go down. B. The logical interface state goes down. C. One or both drops immediately. D. One or both drops after a short period of time. E, once the issue is fixed, a reload is necessary for the connection to reestablish. F, no reload is necessary for the connection to reestablish once the issue is resolved. I call these two-in-one questions, or in this case a three-in-one question, because it's one question on your exam, but it's basically asking you three different things. You know, do you know exactly what's going to happen here? So let's head over to the live equipment. And what I've done for you here is run a very handy troubleshooting command, show frame LMI. And I'm going to run a debug for you in just a moment as well, because if there is one piece of advice that I wish someone had given me when I was studying for the CCNA, it would be this. Run your shows and especially your debug commands early in your studies when things are going well. Because if you don't know what things look like when they're working, how are you going to know what's going on with a debug when something's not working? And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. It sounds kind of, you know, deep, and I don't mean it to. So let's go ahead and run show frame LMI. And you can see here the number has incremented in inquiries sent and messages received. At this point in your studies, don't worry about all this stuff yet. That's not really the important part. The important part for us is right here. And you want to see these numbers continue to increment on a regular basis. That is about every 10 seconds. I'm going to run it again while I was talking. We got two more. So that is a good thing. This is the one you don't want to see increment. Number of status timeouts. But just to see what's going on, you know, I could just give you the answers to the question on the board. But instead, let's use our lab, screw things up a little bit, and see what happens. Before I screw things up, though, let's look at the debug frame LMI. It's going to be a few seconds before it gives us the output. Again, do not think you have to know everything that's going on in here because you don't. But what you want to watch out for are these numbers. You should see these continue to increment. And actually, let me go ahead and turn that right back on before we go into the other command I want to show you. So you can see, you know, my sequence is continuing to increment. Your scene, you want to keep seeing that going up as well. And this is the really good part. You want to see DTE up, continue. So that's all looking good. I'll use the UAL command to turn all the debugs off. And now let's screw things up. How can I do that? Of course, I could do it in a lot of ways, I admit. But how exactly should I bring the LMI down? What can I do that's going to change the LMI or, or the change the LMI status but not change anything else? I'm actually going to change the frame LMI type. Which one of those three is the default? I, I hate to even ask you that. It's definitely Cisco. Got to know that one like the back of your hand for your exam. Cisco ANSI and Q933A. And we're going to set it to ANSI and see what happens, if anything. I haven't seen anything yet. I want to show you this too before something does happen. Serial zero is up, line protocol is up. That first line is the most important of your show interface command. Serial zero in this case, or whether it said Ethernet zero, whatever it says at the beginning of the line, is referring to the physical state of the interface. Line protocol is up is the logical side. I'm trying to show you all this in a certain amount of time before it goes down. You can see now the timeouts are starting to increment. They're up to two. And we're still at 2 right there. And there goes our connection. I also had EIGRP running. So that has come down as well. Because if layer 2 ain't working, my friends, layer 3 has absolutely no chance. And you can see the message, line protocol is down. Line protocol interface serial 0 change state to down. So if we hop up here and run show interface serial 0 again, you'll see the physical interface is up. There's nothing physically wrong with it. 
but the line protocol, the logical state of the interface is down. So, so far we know that A is not true because the physical interface didn't go down, but we do know the logical state of the interface is going to go down. So B is one of our correct answers. We also saw that when I changed the LMI type, the interface, uh, excuse me, the line protocol did not go down immediately. It took about 30 seconds, right? It took three missed messages. So the next correct answer is D, one or both drops after a short period of time. Now, how about this reload business? What do you think? When I change this LMI back to Cisco, do I need to reload the router to make good things happen? I could have run no frame LMI type ANSI 2 and it would have set it back to the default of Cisco. And let's watch the show frame LMI from here on out. See what numbers increment. Nothing yet. That's a good thing right there. Inquiry sent 39, but you'll notice now that instead of the timeouts continuing to increment, the messages received has gone up. And that's a good thing. And we've got two. And our line protocol has come back up. And everything is as it was. Let's run show interface serial zero quickly to verify. And you can see that we are up and up, which is where we want to be. So the final correct answer here is that no reload is necessary for the connection to reestablish. You don't have to reload it after you reset the LMI back to the proper value. I want to thank you for watching today's video boot camp and practice exam. We've got a lot more of these on the way. And please join me out on Twitter, our YouTube feed, our blog, and Facebook as well. And also, especially for you CCNA candidates, you can stick around for just about half, another half minute. Uh, all of my materials are being converted to Kindle and iPad-friendly versions as we speak. And I'm also going to have, when our Amazon.com store launches here in August of 2012, I'll have some free books out there for you, especially one with plenty of hex work. And also, the regular study guides are all going to be priced at $9.99. So you definitely want to be there for that. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for watching today's video and for making us here at TVA part of your Cisco certification success story.